Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play our Count Popo the Immortal in Crusader Kings 2. We are wounded, we're also now a duke, we're not We're not a count, that's a lowly position, and we are not lowly. We can revoke the county of Hohenlo, Hohenloe, but um, that'd probably be a bad idea. Instead, I think we need to wait a little bit, get our levy back, just let it replenish, and then we will try to take Hohenloe. We have our two, our vassals. In fact, when, she has two territories. When did that happen? Did she in... I don't remember this. Did she inherit this province? Count of Spoleto. Until 1092. And then in 1093, 710, so like two months ago, she got this land. Did he die? No. How did you lose that land? Did she attack him? I must have just totally missed something important. I don't know, but uh, whatever, my, my Countess has two provinces now. So she'll actually be size of, uh, a fairly sizable opponent if we were to try to take the land from her. But the good thing is that because she likes us a little bit, she likes being the spy master, it makes her happy. She's also content, she doesn't like that I'm cruel or slothful. She thinks I have a, a short reign right now. We'll speed the game up again. But um, I think what we'll do is... Uh, I was looking over the, the feudal obligations, and the penalty for going from minimal to low is so small. Just five opinion, and then the bonus to taxation, and then the 10% maximum levy. Right now, we can raise 80%, and if we were to lower her opinion of us by five and increase the maximum to 90%, I think it's it's a net neutral, at least, if not a gain of troops. Plus, we pick up 5% taxes. So we're going to go with that. Uh, and our Chancellor just died. Sad times. So, now I have been reading the, the comments a bit as well, and it does seem pretty likely that um, this, this one might not last too long, this campaign, just because Count Popo, as interesting as he is, um, I did enable the Shattered World, which a lot of people said is, is interesting for a little while, but then... The problem is that the AI just doesn't handle it very well. Like, you'll see a couple, maybe the lucky counts that we put out there will do okay, but they won't really form anything. And so I'll be like this blob in the center, just surrounded by a whole bunch of independent counts, and they'll just never really do very well. I mean, we do see some people forming, what, you've got two counties. You, you can see, like, look in this map for places where, like right here, so somebody... Somebody else controls this guy. Or maybe not. Maybe you just don't have a... Why don't you have a thing? Where's your heart, your thing? Anyway. We'll see some more people show up. Like, this guy's got two... Over here, we got a duke. Ooh. Count Palantine in. Very nice. My beloved niece is concerned that she's not still married. I will find you someone nice indeed. I will marry you off to this guy. Oops, wrong button. No, my keyboard shortcuts don't all work. My back button. No, I need to fix this. Oh, I've I've lost I've lost my niece. I don't know where she is. My sibling's daughter. I need my back key. I use the back key all the time. I'll have to take a break between this video and the next to go patch it. Get this thing working properly. So what do we want to do? We have support to take stuff from her, but it just seems like a bad idea. That's right, I had pieced out the guy because he had brought in allies. I think I know what happened. I think that... Are you related to that guy somehow? Somehow she inherited it. I don't know. Or she took it forcefully. Something has happened. That's all that matters. She can plot to revoke both. My wife has 20 ducats. Not really ripe enough yet to kill. Oh, and then the... Uh, that's what we had just done. We had raised the retinue. So now it's costing us 5 ducats a year. Because it's at full size. So we're making money again. It's it's It still costs money all the time. Just not... Crusader Kings, Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manners of all manner of abuse. 
In order to protect the pilgrims, the Pope has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by Christian forces. Okay, so we have Crusades enabled. Cool. Do, 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 do. My, my vassal doesn't like me enough to give me troops. He's loyal to the Pope. And you've just pissed off my vassal. Good job, Chancellor Man. He almost likes us enough. We'll make you High Almoner. Now we're just two opinions short. So as that short reign penalty goes away... Who needs culture, indeed? We're no longer wounded, yay! We are immortal! He seems to be very interested in my piety. Seven piety. That must be per 50. So it's it's one opinion for feudal lords per 200 prestige, and then one opinion per 50 piety for priesty type people. So the Pope. Yeah, the Pope doesn't care about prestige. Interesting, so they've rebalanced it. It's, uh, min it's plus 30 if you improve relations, and minus 20 if you piss them off. My wife and I have been in unable to conceive a child, and now everyone believes I am impotent. We only need to try more. So everyone thinks, everyone dislikes me because I'm impotent, apparently. <laughs> That's funny. I'm immortal! <laughs> what do you expect? Liege is... Let's oh, see, she doesn't care. Apparently it's just my court that cares. Not a real man. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yes, so I married off the wrong niece. Here, you marry one too. Go. Get out of here. Um, what if I just wait a few days? I can't wait a few days. I could banish her. No. I'll marry you after after the fact. I meant to get you married. It wasn't my part. My, my fault. How's our levy doing? Yes, we will confront my courtier about her lack of piety. You're not pious enough, woman. Become pious. And yes, finally we have troops available here. I'm gonna move this guy here. That's gonna give up some of our levy. I think in the next month it'll update. We've lost the trait novice fighter. The sword in my hand seems heavier and heavier every year. So we're not even a novice fighter now. We've, we've downgraded with 19 martial score. It seems as if the rumor about me being impotent has spread throughout the court. People are laughing behind my back, or so my so-called friends tell me. That's a that's a problem when you're immortal. Everyone's gonna know. Although eventually, we're, we're 65, we don't look 65. Let's grow a manly beard. That'll make people respect us. Oh yeah, the full one. It's a big manly beard. Look at all this hair. Ooh, the nasty comb over? No. We're not gonna cut our hair until we have a child. We have plenty of domain limits, so if we are able to get enough power to take her down, we will revoke her land. There's no reason to let her keep it. So she doesn't have very many very much of a levy there, and she only has two hundred and sixty three here. I think we could actually take her now. We've got a thousand on our own. And she can't call any allies against us. Let's fire the mission. The mission? It's not called a mission. She'll say no, most likely. Oh no, rather than risk it, risking civil war, she'll just give, e give it over to me. Yay! It's very nice of you. We've succeeded. Now we're just going to plot to take the other one. It's not very smart of you, woman. You had a better chance earlier. Give me this one now, too. Then war it is, indeed. You could have had twice as much land. In fact, you have no levy because this is the crap territory. It seems as if the rumor about me being impotent is still spreading. It's rather unfortunate. So we, we've just picked up Hohenlo. With the full levy and no penalties. Because she gave it over peacefully. It's got quite a few upgrades. 323. It's not nearly as good as Henneberg. Henneberg being our capital, of course, since we upgraded it. I think we need some stables. 
Indeed. Sieges. It's fairly quick. We'll have it soon. No subholdings there. Uh, we do have a town. We have a, we have a mayor. And we have another niece. And uh, he, he died a natural death. Feel sad for him. Okay, and then what about our nephew? Yeah, that's right. He's he's already married. So yes, we have a mayor. How's the mayor feel about us? Sigurd. Sigurd. He's paying us uh, 30%. Reduced to 81% of 30% because he's upset. Kind versus cruel. So he's a kind man. Um, you're an imbecile, though. So he likes to play outside with worms. Kind of like a Game of Thrones. No spoilers. I, um, I'm just saying. It's, it's in the most recent Game of Thrones episode. Hey, so we get to win this war, which actually gives us some prestige. Thank you. And obviously you can't be my spy master if I take all your land. What are you so upset about? Just because I'm a tyrant? It's a silly reason to be upset. I guess we'll put somebody in charge that wants to be Spymaster. That'll make her like us a little bit more. We could just make her leave. She's ambitious. I don't trust her. I'm just kidding. Go away. She's a nun. Disqualified from normal inheritance. So she's still my spy master. I just made her take her vows. Interesting. Here's 20 bucks. Please don't murder me. 20 ducats of buckets. Buckets of ducats. Lots of money. That's what I mean to say. Okay, we'll disband all the things. We probably might even have room for another bit of retinue. Yes, we do. Okay, um, 90% chance of no effect. I tripped and fell down the stairs. Thank heavens I'm okay. I just have a few bruises. My doctor said I should treat it with chicory, which I hate because of its bitter taste. Though I won't be eating it. Having to deal with it is just annoying. Okay. So, one of the things that I might do is if we do play... If this if this campaign doesn't last too long, like if it gets, if it gets dull, we'll just start over. I'm going to keep playing Hip because it's a really cool mod and I want to really enjoy it for a while. But um, we'll, we'll restart, and then I'm going to probably disable somewhat more Historic in favor of enabling Viet Immersion, which is even more events and stuff, which would be cool. So we, what we would lose by doing that is we would lose some of the extra provinces, some of this African stuff, and some of the mountains. And I mean, look at all these provinces in Ireland. There's a lot of provinces. Like It just adds a lot of territory to the game. So we'll go back to vanilla territory, but we'll have Viet Immersion, which would be cool. If you want to improve your skill at diplomacy, you need to become a confident public speaker. So apparently we're going to go talk to some people jumping off cliffs or out of buildings. Choose a plot. Murder our wife. I think not. So now we have no ability to attack anybody. Well, obviously the right thing to do if you're an immortal person is, is, uh, is research cultural tech in your capital so that you can become a, heres a heretic. And then we'll have cast a spell on everyone. And it will be awesome. Oh, we are a duke now, so we do get technology. That's quite nice. I think that these guys are just... The Ritters are too, too good to pass up. I mean, if you compare the price, though... <laughs> I, I'm going to end up getting the damn skirmish again, aren't I? Four, okay, 400 red to new cap. Versus 1,200. So you have three of these things, roughly. For about a third of the price. You get three times as many men. <laughs> three times as many men. So would you rather have 250 troops or 750 troops? 750 can siege a building. Siege a holding. 250 can't. They can win a battle. <sighs> and the heavy calf are not very good at, at assault, nor are the light calf. 
because their attack value in the skirmish phase is garbage. Let's see, what's the attack value of all these guys? So what we're looking at, skirmish, first column, attack value is what we care about. Attack value and defense value. That's what's used in assaults. So 1.1, 0.2, 0.1, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 0.2, 